I started posting Skate 3 content in 2021. Since then, I've posted hundreds of YouTube videos, thousands of TikToks, won boards, clothes, a controller, and I'm very grateful for all of it. I'm grateful for the people that I've met and the team that we have. I'm glad for everything that has happened in preparation for this game to come out. The community has never been as passionate the problem is we don't have the game, and it's been harder and harder to deal with that fact because I don't know about many of you, but I made many sacrifices to try and put myself in a position where I could create content full-time and possibly profit from that in a way that would support me and my family. For a very short time, that did happen, and I was very, very grateful, but it fizzled out very quickly. Now, is that my fault? Probably. But the thing is, I wrestled with more than just a struggle with resources or time. It got to a point where I started to struggle with integrity. And what I found to be very difficult was finding my own way to make content that I liked. It was very easy to go live and make a video and do some challenges and put on a happy face and just try and get through a night in order to receive donations and subscribers and i've met a lot of great people doing live streaming but something still felt very predatory and very fake about what i was doing of course i could go live and do challenges but i slowly felt myself slipping into a personality that was not of my own and that scared me I did not want to lose myself or, in my own mind, sell out to become something successful. You know, fame and fortune are great, but not if you lose yourself in the process. So my endeavor for the past two months or so has been to try and figure out what is the kind of content that I want to make, that I want to see come from the community, that showcases us in a positive light, that showcases creativity, but also doesn't cause me to simply prey off of other players. I'm not trying to say that's what other people are doing. I think it's pretty obvious that I'm speaking closely about big live streamers and how it's very easy to lose some of your content to them. I will also admit that most of that content is offered to them and suggested to them and that is what they are known for doing. So there's also a part of me that doesn't want to invade on that space because I think those guys do that very well and I don't want to just copy something that I've seen before. I don't want to be another one of somebody else. I want to be my own thing and I think everybody that plays this game and makes content wants that for themselves but the room is limited and there are very very few paths left for innovation in Skate 3. That's why we're all foaming at the mouth for this new game, and the fact that we still don't have it, it's getting very painful. Most of us were probably premature in our assumption that we would have the game sometime close to now, but even the people that made the long bet, even the people that, that looked down the line and said, no, it's going to be a while, that while has passed, and I think there's a general level of concern around the game now because... The boardrooms are getting minimal, and I don't think a lot of us are seeing the side of development that we really want to see and know about. It's kind of cookie cutter. There's a lot of things that I think we could ask, but we don't know what to ask because we don't even know what can be answered. And the things that we're being shown are, I mean, for lack of a better word, kind of granted already. We've been seeing the same stuff for months years now ever since they made the we're working on it trailer what did we see in the we're working on it trailer well we saw bare bone development we saw wireframe models we saw motion capture shooting flash forward to the boardroom four and what are we seeing motion caption shooting they're still discussing the way that certain tricks are supposed to look and the physics and and how they kind of accidentally fell into certain mechanics but they're not sure how they want to express them or include them and that, to me, in my opinion, that's mind-boggling that we're years into a development cycle for a game and we still don't have 
mechanics pinned down. We still don't have the physics nailed down in a way that allows them to move forward and focus on the other aspects. Maybe they're building it backwards. Maybe they needed to have the map and the functionality first before they could get into these more advanced mechanics. I get that. I'm not a developer, but I can put it together that there has to be a logical progression to how these games are made. I'm just not seeing what that progression is because it kind of feels like we've been watching them try to accomplish the same thing for two, three years. Aside from the development of the map, I'm not really impressed by these small flip trick animations, even the grind combos. Like These are things that, for a modern skate game, are kind of obvious, and every game is striving for them. We need to see the side of skate that really makes it skate. We haven't seen a lot of elaboration on parkour, flumping, cosmetics, items, character progression, character customization. None of these things are really being made front and center and when the biggest thing on display is them trying to describe how a pop shove it is designed and developed and that's the main hook for boardroom four i'm growing very very concerned and i'm still having a hard time trying to figure out how to make better content i really hope that when we get skate four skate that there is something for everyone and the trick liners get to make their content and parkour runners that never even played skate get to come in and try and make content and big mainstream general streamers might want to play this game and bring it into the public eye and show it to so many other people if all of those things happen then really none of this and what i'm saying sh should really matter but until that happens and until we have a fully fledged playable game or at least an open beta on console that we can put our hands around and call our own i'm really running out of ideas here in skate 3 i don't want to stop playing it but i also don't want to just start stealing content from other people and invading on space and trying to just be this everything person in the game I think we've all played long enough where we've been forced to move out of our own originality and try something new and something different, and that should always be the way it is with skateboarding, even skate gaming. But it should be on our terms, and when we're just running out of sand in the box, that's a problem. We need this game.